We can never see Michael Jackson perform again live, but we can see his influence on some of the hottest acts on the music scene today. He was their inspiration, their mentor, their own American Idol. Here's Chris Conley. At last year's memorial service for Michael Jackson, this was R&B megastar Usher hushing the crowd with a performance of Michael's own Gone Too Soon, touching the casket. It was not rehearsed for me to go down and touch his casket, but I just felt compelled to do so. This is a moment. I cried a lot before I hit the stage. Gone too soon. But I managed to make it through it, and I'm happy that I was able to do it. Now 31, a solo artist since he was 15, Usher's long been inspired by the King of Pop. Man, as a performer, I'd say every bit of who I am on stage is somewhat a product of what I saw. I mean, who wasn't a fan of Michael Jackson as a kid? Exactly. All the ladies, all the ladies, Which is why across the pop spectrum, Michael's influence can still be found today. Not merely in the many disparate performers who've covered his songs, but in the sheer scope of their ambition. There's basically almost no pop R&B singer who I've seen whose stage style, their lighting gear. Got it. Yeah. The lighting is yeah, great. You got it. You got it. Their view of how they should take the stage is not influenced by Michael. There hasn't been a new template for how to be large. What sort of things did you learn from him that you would later incorporate into your own work? Magic. The magic of understanding the moment. Captivating a crowd, understanding what he calls the sizzle. That moment you would stand in front of the crowd and just take it in. The one greater thing than the moment is the anticipation of the moment. They don't want it right away. You gotta make them wait a little bit for it, you know? There's also the rising star Usher's been mentoring. 16-year-old Justin Bieber, whose live show has a nod to Michael's wanna be starting something. People would say, well, Michael Jackson was way before Justin's time. Yeah. He probably doesn't really know anything about Michael Jackson. Yeah. But you studied him. For sure, yeah, yeah. One of the first songs I like took serious and sang was was Rock and Robin. I was like nine or ten and I was singing. She rocks in the treetops all day long, rocking and bobbing and singing his song. Do you have like a hairbrush in your hand while you're doing that? No, like? just a fake mic, just like. And, you know, after I started doing this and just watching playback of his videos and just watching, you know, how in control he is of, of everything. For Justin, who's on the road for his first big concert tour, that control was one of the revelations of last year's This Is It documentary. Don't do that one yet? No, no. After watching that, I realized, you know, I have to be in more control of what's going on because everything that everybody does around me is, is all reflected on me. And and same with Michael. It's not just A-listers who are testaments to Michael's iconic stature. These young dancers who've been cast to back up Michael in This Is It were influenced by him in a new way, through his approval and affection. I love you all, and we're family, just know that, we're family. I remember we would come in to rehearsal and Michael would be there and we'd line up, like some little kids yeah, would line up and procession. wait to give him a hug. Like we all wanted to give Michael his hug for the day, just to have that Start little up, moment yeah. with him, you know, so. A lot of artists don't take the time to even say hello to you, let alone give you your hug. You talked about Michael as almost a father figure in your life, Chris. What did that mean? Well, growing up, I didn't really have a father of my own. And you know how you look up to people and they're your mentor? He was like that to me. 
We watched wide-eyed whenever the consummate performer took over. He's singing up on the stage. Electric eyes look everywhere. He says, see that girl, and he, boom, points over at me. I had no idea. He knew I was watching, and I was like, <laughs> he caught me. Like, I'm supposed to be backstage, but it was just so exciting that he was aware of me being there, and I was kind of giddy like a little girl. I was like, oh, my gosh, just so excited. He loved putting them out there, and he would give them opportunity. He wasn't, he wasn't the kind of person on stage that would say, oh, don't do that. You're doing too much. He loved it. And I'm sure in the presence of Michael, they were a little abashed. No, you can't be abashed next to Michael Jackson. You better get on it. He brought up the new generations of, of artists through their dance and singing and, and their whole image. Um, everybody wants to be like Mike. <laughs> Even for someone who'd made it big, a word from Michael meant the world. Everybody wants to feel special, you know. To be able to hear from Michael, that is your certification that you have made it. You definitely are headed uh, down the right road. What have we done to the world? Look what we've done. You could hear and feel the emotion in everything he did. There's not a lot of people that you can say that you just feel it when you, when you listen to him. As a dancer, what was his relationship to the beat? Was he always on top of it? Did he linger behind and catch up? What made it so irresistible <laughs> to watch him? Michael Jackson's relationship to the beat. He was the beat, honey. He was the beat. Let's get it right. He was the beat. And for the scores of performers who've emulated him, for the thousands whose careers he inspired, and for the countless millions moved by the four decades of his pop artistry, the beat goes on. If you'd like even more about Michael Jackson, just go to 2020's webpage. We've posted dozens of never-before-seen pictures behind the scenes with Michael Jackson in unguarded moments on tour. Plus more of our exclusive interview with Jackson's makeup artist, Karen Fay. That's our program for tonight. Thank you for watching. I'm Chris Cuomo. And I'm Elizabeth Vargas. For all of us here at 2020 and ABC News, we're in touch, so you be in touch all the time online at abcnews.com. Have a great weekend.